women. I say that as so. And when they recognize they saw me, they were stripped the right. Come on, man, just come in. I took the ball in the club. I used to just have the bad old preach. I brought up in the club to build up in there. Because I need it as a priest. But boy, I can't say. You have to be able to afford to pay attention. You have to be able to afford to pay you when buying a soda or having some money in your pocket to stop that that um, seems like a that seems like a privilege to be able to go to the store and actually buy a soda. Have you ever been to the point where you ride down the street, you have to run down the Oh, 
八十八岁，一九一九二九，一九二九，一九二九，一九二九。好，同学们，我的大日啊，坐着在这。
the Jews come out of the Jews, and God is with the crowd. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, 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 oh,
Amen. 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 And to read. They went across the lake to the region of the Jerusalem, where Jesus got out of the boat. A man with a impure spirit came from the tomb to see him. This man lived in the tomb that no one could mind him anymore, not even with a chain. For he had offered the chain hand and foot, but he tore the chains apart and broke the iron on his feet. Someone was strong enough to subdue him. Night and day upon the tomb, and in the hills he would cry out and cut himself with stones. But when he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and fell on his knees in front of him. He shouted at the top of his voice, What do you want with me, Jesus, the son of the most high God? Did God say, Don't talk, don't talk with me? But Jesus said to him, Come out of this man, you impure spirit. Then Jesus asked him, what is your name? My name is Legion, he replied, before we are men. If you look at verse 15, it reads, Then they came to Jesus and saw that the one who had been demon possessed and had the legion was sitting and clothed and in his right mind. And they were afraid. And when they came to Jesus, they saw the man who had been possessed by the region of Jesus sitting, clothed, and in his right mind. And they were afraid. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you have no way now. Your will will not return forward, but accomplish that which you believe the prophet of your sentiment. Father, we need you right now to open the mind of our understanding that we will hear your word, receive your word, act on your word by the and be delivered, Lord. Have your way to your honor your presence right now. I need to so that the spirit of the Lord can enter you, Lord. Move in a mighty way, Father, for the first to the people, Lord, I'm going to run to the back that those that are here, Lord, I'm going to hear from you now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. And in Jesus' name, we give you praise to those that love the Lord. Amen. 
Hey man, before I can get into you, I have to take and give it to me first. I got to take the first dose of it. If it's a if it's a deal, I got to take the first stick of it, and, and I got to walk in it before I get it to you because if it be a fist of me, it's in you do something I ain't doing. Amen. Or if that stick don't apply to me, it's going to apply to you. So he got to be first. Amen. When the word comes to you, when you were reading your word and said it, that's why a lot of us don't like to say it in the word because the word will talk about you. But we try to go find other people in the word to point out them and God ain't talking about them, they're talking about you. Once you get it right, then you can find your couple friends who do the same thing, then you tell them. But you make sure you find you first. You put it on first. Come on, now, I just need to be right in the back now. No, we'll put it on first. But, um, so I, 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 I tried it and I tried it to myself. Now, uh, what I want to talk to you about is, is, is something that's good that you need to hear this, but the enemy is now is going to try to block you from hearing this. But I, right now, take authority over every demonic spirit that is here present. You have no authority to speak in this service. You have no authority to interrupt this service. You are bound and with the help with in the name of Jesus. And it's so. And it's so. And it's so. We don't hear this in the full pitch too often, and, and, and so I, this is going to challenge our ministers and preachers, and even it's going to challenge those that are just ministers of the gospel in your jobs or in your home. We don't hear this a whole lot. It's been removed from out of our Christian conversation all together. This thing that Jesus has removed from out of our conversation, out of our teaching, that we need to have that in. But he's removed it for a reason. And, 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 and Satan definitely denied the removal and, and, and the warnings, the people have warned the subject, it ain't a rich subject to talk about, so a lot of people have warned it because, you know, they get paid, they're warned things, uh, and so you can't talk about certain things that really going to affect your life, because the money matters in your life. You ever heard of certain life matters? There's some people that preach the word of God, money matters. Money matters. Your life doesn't know it don't matter. I don't care about money. I care about your soul. So, I'm going to say what the word says me to say. I ain't worried about getting paid what I say is not. I'm going to do it anyway. Because God gave me a business to run that takes care of my needs. That I don't have to give all the people to do it. But this is what the problem the 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 truth has been watered down a little bit. And it's a subject that has been moved out of the Christian conversation altogether. And, and because of the, because he had took his time and removed it, he's rejected it to keep on oppressing the believer through your ignorance of what he's doing. See, if he can keep oppressing you, 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 you can get the victory, but you got to first know what it is. See, the best way to beat the enemy is to set the enemy. And know how he operates. So the enemy knows that also. So he needs to listen to certain things that you shouldn't be knowing, that you should be taught, that should be talked about. He can keep you blind to it, so he can keep doing that same method that gets you. And, and, and we've gotten away from it. And, and, and I'm afraid that the subject that seems to have disappeared from our teachings is the subject of demons and demon activity. Demons and demon activity has been removed from the conversation of Christian, just as well as hell and the devil. Hell has been removed from the pool because it doesn't matter a popular subject. They don't make you run around and jump and hand and keep the hook and hook and take the kill. So you can get that out of there. Um, the devil. We don't want to talk about him in the protest of who he is, not him in his box or not in him, but we do must realize that there is one. Don't go crazy with them. Uh-huh. So you, 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 you have to acknowledge that it is a devil. But you walk through an eye, it is a devil. So we put that out. So guess what? Because we took hell out of the teachings of the, the Christianity and the Christianity, we took hell out from our own. Because we took hell out of the poor pit, we took our living crazy. Just how the pit. 
when we look hell out of the back of the day, we're driving about hell as a lie itself. So we're bringing it out of the teaching of Christ. We took that out. So people made all kinds of things. Thank you, Christians. We made all kinds of things. We don't have no fear. We don't have no fear of God. No fear of God. This is the truth. The truth of the devil out of the full day. And because we took the teachings of the devil out, people don't recognize when the devil's present in their life. They don't recognize what they pray. They got demons all in them. They don't recognize that the demon is a present here. Because I can say this, as a Christian, I'm not saying that Christian can be possessed because once you accept Jesus Christ, he becomes your, he takes possession of you. But you can be oppressed by demons as a Christian. But a lot of people can be possessed because they have nothing in it. But hold up. It ain't no difference sometimes between an a unbeliever who's possessed and a Christian who's oppressed because they don't hate the same. Hold on that to say. Hold on that to say. Understand this. Jesus are real. You better believe in it. They are real and they play a major role in the war against believers. Many believers, we are under this misconception that their demons don't bother you. What you can go say is you say it. That's false. Amen. That's false teaching. What kind of thing? Say it, say it, I'm saying. No, 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 no. No, you are talking when you remain saying it. Demons, they don't talk to their demons. Demons ain't after demons. Come on, they ain't giving you a thing. The demon don't want a demon. A demon is for somebody who don't have a demon in them. So who are you taking something after? Come on, who are you coming after? You don't want no demon. Demon don't want to be done. So why do you think you won't come? Why do you think you got a target? Say you need the torch that you are. Say you need the torch that you are. This is hanging out of the 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 See, you can be under, okay, you can open up a door to demonic activity because of somebody in your family who had the door open. Because yeah. sometimes through generations, you your great 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 granddaddy, your great granddaddy, your great granddaddy, your great granddaddy, your daddy, your granddaddy, your daddy, your daddy, your daddy. Uh-huh. It can come down through that. It can come down through that. Jesus, like I say, Jesus broke all generation curses. Yes. That is, that, that is, Amen. That if you don't know you broke it, you can be the same pattern as your father. You can be the same pattern as your mother. You can be the same pattern as your brother. You can keep doing it unless you do something to say that body or the fact and walk in the fact that he's broken it. You can show it ain't gonna work. To the truth is, I'm saying so the curse that was on my daddy, the curse that was on my mama, my grandma, and grandma's daddy ain't on me. Why they? With the hand of God, like grandma did. They didn't make me like granddaddy did. They didn't keep a job like daddy. They're seeing kids like mom. Why they on me? Why they? Why is that? And, 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 and you don't look like it, but you act like it. Why are they? Uh, uh, I'm glad I got my uh, birthday gift from home. I I ain't looking at it. I have to confess to you this morning, um, person in the room. I have to confess to you this morning, I have to draw all the brightest spray on and the color in the box. But I do go through things. And the Holy Spirit is you got to get everything for you to start preaching this. Because if you say, the actor, well, you ain't just fucked. Y'all don't feel the baby. Like, I think it's first day of the night. I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm talking to you. So, 
lives. You can get it. The oldest is still under the one generation of the Old the soul time. Soul time. Who you hook with? You can open the door see who you got a leeches with. See, you a leech. If you got a leeches with people that got demons, guess what? You can open the door for demons to come to you. If the people that you hang with for the demons, then what? What do you think they gonna come to you? How do you think you want to go to a super dark that they ain't coming to you? If you go to the Bible shop, then you're going to get away. How yeah, okay. You play with a person long enough to get away. You need to hang around the wrong type of people. Guess what? You're going to get up there and have you going to take their ways upon yourself. That spirit back from the house. We don't talk about that because we don't talk about demons. Demons, spirit back from the You don't understand. You want to talk about demons or demonic activity in their life for a certain day. And you sit there and the boy, you know what? And you know, you go home and we talk about it. You know, you know what the body got to be going on in the house of person's life with the hang out of every day. Next thing you know, you ain't gonna go talk about it, you ain't gonna get out. They not answer these not doors. I have to hang around the body of people. And, and I tell I was against, I was against, that's just what I was against all of that. And I was grow up, I was raised like that. But I was hanging around people, I ain't getting scared. I ain't afraid of none of them. I was hanging around a person who was a prophet. And because he believed that the best thing to do to a prophet is beat him, that that's what we all should do. And I was against that. I was going to go far with him. I'm going to get him a father all day long about us. They say, if man don't touch women, a man don't put his hand on a woman. Try a man. But you don't touch a woman. No matter what they say, I can't you be a man. And you smack a woman, but you won't smack a man. You put your mind out, but you don't put your mind out where you're lying, or you don't even know what you're But the whole world is you don't think back to them. Look at it. Look You got people talking about your mom, you won't say that, because you're almost black, you're almost white. I was thinking, see these things, and I was just being dependent, I was just dependent, because the speaker gets it all the time, and you're coming at Ryan in your car, I got my own. I ain't gonna get to certain things. Tell about your friend, I got my own friend. But guess what? Even though I was back away from him, I was still hanging around him. And long as I kept hanging around him, kept me able to do it, eventually that spirit transferred over to me. And one day, I was back, I hit my body. And that was the first and the last time. The voice straight out the door. He said, no. The whole boys can do that, you ain't doing it. I don't play that. Family can't go with it. No, where you get that from? But that don't go here. You ain't, you had it only one time to put your hand on them and you did it and you messed up. Get your stuff and get out. Ain't no coming back. Ain't no taking it up. Yeah, you can give you, but get the step around when you give you. And that's it. My first marriage put my hand on one time. We're home like a home for it. To cool you up. Talk yeah. back to me. That spirit is praying for And I stopped. And I lost my marriage. Yeah. Spirit is praying for Lost my marriage. Because that demon that was in him was praying for his feet. Because I was totally against that. The reason why I watched my mama get beat up. So I hated it being too much. I used to watch my mom get smacked around by different men. And I detested it. And I said, I'll never be like one of them. And I became the very man. I said, I'll never be like that. Because of the demon that was on him transferred over to me. You better watch right here. You need to let your hand around. Maybe you're going to change them. Because if God ain't trying you to be around, they're going to change before you change them. Come on, somebody. Come on. I ain't going to change them. I'm going to stay the food. You can't hang around leeches, they're going to have you acting like them before you make them holy. Yeah. I guarantee you that. You'll hear more of their stuff than they'll hear yours. Come on, somebody. I learned that the hard way. I'm trying to get the invitation down, Sandra. Don't ever ask me to come from no way to get them more Sandra. That's right. I went to a Sandra and I don't look and see that one out here today. But I asked me to come hold it on today. Yeah. Get it Way back on Friday, I'm going to be. I'm going to every day. All day. I'm a man of God all day long. You are 
show the mighty ghost. Go. 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 That's the way we're going to transfer on you. Bring over here. Let this right here transfer on them. Go high. You can take a few today to leave this morning. I told them to take a leave this morning. I ride it out because you mean I'll get kicked out of school. I'll become nothing. I'll get on drugs. I'll beat my wife. I'll get the kids. It don't matter that I take care of my own. I better pay bills at home. Soul ties. Redemption. Soul ties. Redemption. Soul ties. Redemption. You ever told me, but I'll ride or die with you. You'll go to prison. You'll give up your freedom for your friends. Leave your wife, leave your husband, leave your children for your friends. You had to show me your drive license now. Why are you getting your car to get a ride with you? You got to show me your drive license before I'm going to get in your car and ride with you. I ain't going to jail with you for that thing. I love everything God has made you and I'm back on with you. You going to show me that's my drive license. My own life against my own transportation. I don't think they were too young. So that's what I had to work. Because I got right, because I don't care how much I go there. So me, your life there, and insurance, because of being ready, you won't pay. You got to drive a car with me. I'm a fucking man. I'm a parent. I'm a grandparent. You can be in your car, and you act crazy if you want to, we're going to get paid. You can go. Don't do that. I can eat it. Don't be the thing that we're covering before I get in. They don't want you to be dead or you to be dead or what yourself. And you don't want to come up in anything. You want to get in trouble. Well, if you can't, well, I can't. I don't know. Show me. Show me that you got what it takes for me to get in your car. You got to have insurance and you got to be paid up and you got to have all the provisions. And then I might get around. But I'm going to guarantee you what? As a best God, get in mind. I live by example. Get in mind. I got the insurance. I got the life. I got everything to come to me. And you're going to stop asking you to come to me. I'm going to go back I'm thinking about to go back I got him. I got him. Come on, somebody. You don't like it. I'm going to have to push it. What thing can come through a door? Did it come through a door or the coat involved? Then it was three sideways that and get into all of that, um, that, 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 that satanic stuff like that. And another way from the trauma and victimization, we can go through a big traumatized. You can be raped as a child, delisted as a child, and because the, what has happened is change the way you feel about people. You can be lost or, or some kind of way you've been criminalized as a as a adult or as a child, and you hate the person who did it, you know, you, 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 you wonder, you wonder why God let it happen to you, and all of that stuff, so that can take from my view, but that can also open up a door for sex, because when you start questioning God about why did let this happen to me, how can they do it? I won't forgive the person who did it. If you won't forgive the person who did it, then you will open up another door for sex to step right on in, because you bought the brother in that area, because if you walk walking on forgiveness, you open yourself up to say, hey, uh, the body activity, and you don't know it because it don't be talked about. It don't be talked about. People just like, walk around and just hate people and not like people. And I know what they have been done to you in society. I'm not this now playing what if they have happened to you. What's going to happen to me? But I had to learn how to forgive folks. I still have to go talk to them about me all the time. I have to learn how to forgive them. But if I ain't got time to have them to find activity coming before me to an open door that I open because I don't like it, you really got to like it. You don't think about this? You better talk about that. You ain't got to like it. You don't think about this. You better quit trying to express people. You better quit trying to express people. Get your gift. Give it to them. I'm not going to walk up to get it because you should talk about it, man. Open up myself 
for Jesus. I know it's like to be under the influence of Jesus. I was a demonic, possessed person. I know what it's like. Ain't that stuff I did? I was demonized. I was possessed by a demon. See, I was fighting there and then. Amen. Because that wasn't me. This demon had me. I was killing you without a heart. That's how demonized I was. I was blowing somebody's head off the heart. See, I was. See, they didn't have to agree to you. I was shooting at the weak. I was going to put a line in my brain with it. I was a demon. I'm all in there. Ready to be no cowboy. But I was thinking that you said something to me. You didn't have to look at me. And if an animal in there come out, and I pulled it, I could be with you today, and I would fall through the bar. Amen. 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 We can be friends, but you got to know I won't. If you didn't, I didn't need an excuse to rob me for it. I'm going to have all my friends that are around here. Because they got that in their choices. Put them on the ground. Heat it. Your it. I know the right to be possessed. I ain't talking about the angels when you spin around like this. You ain't dead. I'm talking about being with demons. You know what you're protecting? You know what you're protecting? I know what it's like. You're trying to make a girl free. Heat it. Hmm. That was right. Put it right in the drink. But see, you reach with the sun. Because I got a good in mind. So I don't know what it's like to be a demon talk to that. Demon possessed talking. This is what we can do. But a hey, now in your life, I can't tell. We got to get a truth. We can take a demon talk. How to take that demon and put it in a girl's drink and, and, and put it up in it. Then they're going to die. That's not even like it. And you can take a bandage on them, and you can do it. We break down with them. Let me just say, I did that the next week. A whole one. A deep and possessed person. Kept us. All of us were being all being high eyes. Or by being in my car at all times. All times. You can be in the car, and you got to have one. I can do it. Who got one? This is what five people are. Yeah. It has to be. Then I came up with a club one day, and I bring it. And I, I told them, I don't let them do But then even they're going to see your friend all the time. They need to go tell me to watch my back. And I came up with a club, and I brought their six back behind me, and they took all the bottles. So I don't allow that, but I'm, I'm ready to go. So I'm going to open six pack of hats, bring it out of my own bottle, and I sit on the table and start talking to somebody. And that's what happened. They slipped it in, and I turned that ground, and got it, and dropped it. About 20 minutes later, I started going down, they started saying, man, something ain't right. And I said, man, I'm going to dance. I'm going to dance with a girl. They are bam. I got up, I said, wait a minute. I said, see, I got a drink. Oh, I just got a drink. I said, I don't know why I fell out with that like that. I just kicked it. I said, what if somebody else got it? And when I started looking around, they got this girl. I said, yes. I said, what if somebody else got it? I said, what if somebody else got it? I'm afraid, like all of them, I'm afraid, I leave the people I went to the end So I grabbed people that leave the name of a friend and said, get me out of here now. And he was taking me towards the door, and that's what they got to be. Right at the door. They bust me open, right at the door. Five of them bust me open, right at the door. Knocked me out, broke my jaw. Got me. Got me. Same thing that I did. Okay, right back to it. Same thing. And then again, I was confident that it would happen. Because I, I knew it. When, when I started to keep together, I said, oh, no. I said, boy, they don't get out of here. And I was holding the deal with it. I said, oh, man, I knew. Let me get some air. Get air and kind of help me. We kind of get the, the, the arms back together. I'm going to test that. Get me outside. And I didn't have the right people with me. I didn't know. I didn't have my people. I had the people who I was with. And they took me right into all those people who was waiting on me. And they beat me up. Yes. And that demon ain't tell me I'm going to read what I told you. Once the demon entered in and he opened the door, that's where the war begins. That's where the war begins. 
understand this. I read an article by David Appleby. He's the president of spiritual intervention out of Wittenberg, Virginia. And he said this. He said, brokenness. Come on, we'll be good now. Brokenness can be covered up with a smile. A person being caught when they can cover it up with service. Uh, Proposed behavior can be kept secret. Most of the time, what others see on the outside don't reflect what's going on inside. Come on now. We can give ourselves to the Lord, be baptized, and try to walk with Him, but still be oppressed and victimized by spiritual forces beyond our control. And He went on to say, We can do it for a smile. He said, Lord, you can be on the church all day long. And you can serve God all day long in church, but you can be needed oppressed. And you can sit in church smiling while you're being secretly confronted. You can be sitting in the service and the enemy is telling you in your ear, don't listen to that. What I said that in the Bible. Who is that telling you that? That's there. Is God telling you that? God ain't gonna ever say that listen to a word that even if that possessed you is telling you, don't listen to that. He said, who is that you got to be protected and that you said, the best thing I want, that's all to be. I'll tell you the truth anyway. That thing is that you don't pay no attention. Anything that the devil will do, anything that comes against the doctor's heart, you already should know it's the devil. You can't see that? That's because you don't understand and recognize it because we know we're not conscious of being demonic activity around us. So we think that's God. God ain't gonna ever tell you to get going for it. God will never tell you in a church to ignore his word. I ain't told you that fuck was in the word. And if the devil has never been never let the president say, don't listen to him. He talks about me. <laughs> you know, it's like the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit ain't gonna say he's talking about me. The Holy Spirit gonna convict and say, yes. The Holy Spirit is it. You know, the Lord, yeah. 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 I get convicted, and 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 he said, you can open your door, you can open some doors with some demonic activity. I'm not a wonder in my own self. Why am I thinking something stuff I've been thinking lately? And he said, but you open up a door. Why is what you're talking about teaching? Because you're starting to open up a door. And that's why you're thinking that they even know you say. That's why your mind is starting to travel back to like you used to be able to issue. Because you have demonic activity in here. Now here I am. They're going to keep it out. Say, well, the Holy Ghost fight that time. I need to tell them this song. They don't have to be. He said, yeah, you. He said, yeah, you. Yes, you. So this message came to me first, but I'm sitting there with the left. I was going to be crazy. I had to get it first myself. I had to get it first myself. I had to pull my truck over. I was trying to tell you, I told him, I pulled my truck over. I said, oh. He said, yeah. He said, if you're not careful, you flirt with it, you will end up doing it. He said, you're going to get this thing together. And so all week long, I've been telling God everything God has delivered me from demonic oppression, delivered me from any demonic activity in my life. Any door that I've opened up to demonic activity to come in, but who is in the name of Jesus? God did it. God did it. The demonic activity can be for the experience of up at God to do work. And I'm there and I started to look at God like a suplex. Come on, help us about it. The demon started telling me this is too much. And you and I'm like, take no bad and they go home. Yeah, they do. And I'm like, no, the God. God, but we should have to do business, but it ain't gonna work. See, that the body spirit is trying to oppress me to not even want to do what God gave me the job to do. 
See, you ain't got to be just possessed by a demon that calls you to do bad stuff. You can be oppressed by a demon that is wanting you to live in the beneath the prison of the law. You can be oppressed. You can be oppressed by a demon that is telling you to die for me. Nobody else. You can be oppressed by those other demons that tell you everything is falling apart. You ain't gonna get. You ain't gonna get through this. What are you gonna do now? You're all alone. Don't be a demon. Every one of those statements contradict God. God said, I'll never leave you, nor forsake you. That demon telling you you're going to be all by yourself. That demon and that man and that demon and that woman are going to leave you. And you're going to hold on to that demon inside of that man. You're going to hold on to that demon inside of that woman. Because you don't want to be alone. See, that ain't got to be in that country. Because God said, let the man go. Let the woman go. You say it right now. Yeah. So that's why they won't deliver you. That's why they won't 
let's know that the demonic that what's called an ill is really demonic. Amen. You're really demonic. But you don't like it. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You need to think they got too many soft creatures. You better get a paycheck because you don't have to deal with them too. If you preach it, if you preach it, if you preach it, if you preach it, you never get your body, you never get your body. You don't kill the church, you don't get your body, 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 you
But then after the demonic activity started rising and feeding, I was able to influence him that I ain't got something to eat. And said, hey, take this too much to take a boat.
They had kids and they were going to fall this year. Only when Satan steps up is when they destroy them. See, some of you ain't made that place yet. That's why they didn't talk that. Some of the devil about to be the stupid people are gone. You ain't ready for the devil. You ain't even eating. You definitely ain't ready for the devil. You don't have to know what happened when the devil comes. The devil's seeing your whole family. You ain't ready for the devil. I'm not the devil about to be the stupid people are gone. That's right. You ain't ready for the devil. You ain't even ready for the devil. We don't get that because we're not talking that. Well, hey, hey, the devil wants to know we know that. The devil comes for real. He's real. The devil will throw the devil out of your house. Come on, the devil bothers you. How do you got the devil that you can't be so real? So, the devil bothers me all week, and I speak to him in the name. How do you confuse him with the devil that you can't be so real? You can't, you can't, you walk in all the bodies, but you throw the devil, you can beat the devil. But you really, really did. You really have to come with the devil. He's been in the bottom, you walk in, and you can beat the devil, but you can't refuse to, uh, I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with somebody that doesn't want to be kind. That's one of the five, here's what I'm saying. One of the five, here's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Okay, the, the first point of the man, the first point came when he ran and worked with people. Right. And then the conversation started with the deacon. The deacon and the man started having some conversations. The, 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 the deacon and God, then Jesus started talking. And the deacon was pleading with Jesus not to, to put it out, not to point in, but to let it point to the king. And when Jesus said to the man, because he was talking to the man, coming to the king of anything. We need some preachers who ain't dead talking to me today. Amen. 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 I'm going to get you over time because you're going to go with me. And I'll accept it. You know what I'm going to talk to the demon in the earth time. You talk to somebody like me, you got a demon, I'm going to talk to the demon. I can't even talk to you no more. I'm going to talk to the demon in here. Amen. 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 Come to the knees and say, don't make it perfect. You just get it out of the wood. I'm going to have to say, my Lord. So if Jesus comes to the knees and say, I'm going to talk to the knees. He said, what's your name? What's well, your name? They never get it done. He said, what's your name? So they ain't even been diagnosed yet. So they told the man when they were 123, they thought he had a point. He said, what's your name? He said, we need you. But we are in and you look up legions, in the Roman era, legions, deep legions that come to 6,000. This man confessed to Jesus, I got two to 6,000 demons with me living in this land. He said that you fought the devil. The devil sent 2,000 to 6,000 demons to get this one man. That's why I was crazy like I was. Now right, I understand why they call me crazy as hell. Now I understand why I was able to do some of the stuff I did. Man, how many of these I was, I was uh, off the stand. I was a hope of death. You didn't know what you were going to get from me. One day I was one day, and I was one day, I was a drug killer, a drug dealer, a gay trainer. I was a drug killer. Yes. Yeah. 
for a little draft going on you at home that was still good. Oh, that's like, what's that? Hey, you got to be that. You can't make that. You can't make that. He was in his right mind. Yeah. Yeah. Can I tell you something? Satan said two to six thousand people to attack him in the battlefield of his mind. That's why it's so hard to get your mind to what you do. Like you did in church, and you take all the thoughts and put thoughts. It is sitting there and doing the holy ground. That's the demon that's the threat. You don't care if that's about me. So that's all. That's the only way you can see me. And say something to us, something you don't think. That's all. That's the only way you can see me. And say about yourself and something to us. That's the only way you can see me. And say something to us. Life. Yes. It gives you to act like a child of God in your mind. It gives you to act like one in your life. 
He gets you around people that you have like to be dumped on the dog. And then you see that last thing and make them jump the back. Don't jump about me. We need money as people need to be here to tell you. Yes. Yes. We're talking to you. We're back down. The money has to be talking to you. Sleeping in it at every time. Come on, man. Tell me like this. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Y'all got a friend with this bitch on the side. The money has dignity. You got to know this. You got a friend that's already talking about this. The money is the money. But he's a friend with my money. My homegirl. Love him. So when the devil find out that you got a crack in your arm, a way in, he gets in, you don't show us that's the purpose. Get him back up. The neighbor. Don't show us that's the purpose. Did he get a dog off there? Did he block the door of your mind? Tell what that thing said. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't care. I ain't gonna give you. I don't know what happened to me. I ain't got nothing to happen. God said to give. Ain't my friend to give. You don't forgive, God said you won't forgive. You want to take that chance? Go right ahead. Go right ahead. God will tell you what happened. You have no proof about that. This is the difference. This happened. He said, forgive. And share with you forgive. You don't want to forgive. He said, you won't be forgiven. You take that chance. Ain't nobody going to be going to hell. Ain't nobody going to be going to hell. Let 
trying. You got to keep the secret. That's what I'm trying to do. That way more. You got to put chains on. Yeah. But they say you pop the chains. Can I tell you something? Because oh, it makes sense. You ain't going to ever be able to cure a demonic disease to give it that. Because just like that demonic thing that you leave it inside that man, that thing in you, no matter what I do, no matter what, nobody's going to try to change you. If you want to go to Jesus for yourself, that thing in you will always find a way to be a healer. No matter how many times you hear this word, no matter how many times people come to you and talk to you and try to teach you that some friends and stuff together, you ain't never! Ever! Get it together! Through your own efforts! Quit crying! Some of you people quit crying! I don't stop crying! Because I ain't no kind of savior in my spirit. I don't stop that. I ain't got a lot of headache behind you. I'm going to give you the truth if you take it. Because I'm going to do what I'm going to do. I'm going to get back to the river. Because that demon in you, just like that demon in this man, when they change it, that demon has enough strength to follow those chains and still keep you on after doing what you want them to do. That demon 